you what up what up what up what up what up welcome to my channel my name is Yankees and today I'm gonna bring you guys a cool search and destroy video I'm actually playing with my nephew in this gameplay uh the gameplay is uh pretty good pretty good the score's pretty good pretty good um today we're just gonna do a boss of the wall commentary um and just talk about different things like this game. I love this game. And I'm actually looking forward to um, the ranked play that's going to start on Friday, January 9th. Uh, I was playing a little bit of ranked play today. And I was having fun with it. Um, I believe I went, I think, halfway to diamond? No, platinum. Because I'm in gold. I'm in gold. And um, I'm trying to get to platinum right now. I know it don't count, but it's it's good it's good practice to get it in to play some, you know, rank play because all the competition is there. Uh, so you know, you want to get better, you play rank play, you play against better people, and you get a reward. The rewards seem pretty pretty cool. Uh, they're mostly chess plates, and obviously, if you get into um, master grandmaster division, I think it's grandmaster, you get some ridiculous freaking body arm with a helmet and whatnot but it actually looks like royalty camel but like a whole body suit covered in royalty camel you can say um it looks cool but i'm shooting for at least the you know the platinum division and whatnot because i know I, I was maintaining in gold i could have been in platinum i could have been actually higher than all that and at least in diamond because you know i don't really have a team like that to play the rank play all my friends usually play just you know casual and whatnot which is cool you know I like to play you know tdm domination you know, casual gameplay, you know, the hard stuff like rank play and whatnot. You really need a, an experienced team that know what they're doing as far as playing the objective, you know, slaying where you need to slay. You know, you need you need to have a full team of guys that know what they're doing. You know, random suck. And for some reason, you know, in rank play, at least, you know, the teams that I've played against, some people like to quit, uh, which sucks because, you know, my team will be playing and we'll be doing okay. Like today, I had... I think I had a run about like 10, 10, 11 games and we played and it was good. It was a good amount of games, but a lot of the games people would quit on the other team and that kind of sucks because, you know, the system is that they don't put you against the same players. Like every game, they'll switch out the teams, which is okay because, you know, if you went in and slaughtered the team, it's not fair for them to play you again. Uh, but if the game was close, then, you know, they'll kick that team out and try to bring another one. Now, that's where the problem lies because it takes forever to find the lobby. Like, we were sitting there today and I think in a span of about like three hours, we got around 11 games in, you know, and it was hard to find games. Like, we would sit in the lobbies for like maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes sometimes, stay in the lobby just f trying to find people. And then when people come in and, you know, they'll split up the team, people would quit or the game would finally start after 20 minutes. And then, you know, the first round, the pass, for instance, we play Uplink, right? And we scored we scored four points really quick on Uplink, and, you know, half the other team left. And it was stuck, you know, it was four against two. And then one guy left, and it was four against one. So, you know, you get situations like that, which is kind of like, cool, we win the game, cool, you get the points, we can rank up and, and go to the next division or, you know you know get the points that we need but at the end of the day you know you want to play the game so you know after waiting for 20 minutes and then people quit it kind of sucks um i don't know how they could fix that maybe give some um harsher penalties for people that quit the game uh but sometimes i being you get you get you know you get games where you're on a team and the other team your team completely is horrible like full of noobs complete noobs you know i played today against a team it was four guys and three of them were like noobs and they didn't even know what they were doing they were like you know running around you know not winning any gunfights not playing the objective it was just weird and it was funny because when you play public matches the matches are pretty tough like you know you run into competition consistently because of the match oh look at this one this is so funny i didn't understand that the guy's up there knifing the wall like what are you doing Anyway, um, you know, when you play public matches, the matches are skill-based. So you run into people that are on your same level. So, you know, there's harsher competition in there, you know, where that's that's how it should be in rank play, where you're going to play people that are on your level or better than you. You know, public matches, you know, felt a little harder to play um, when I played rank play. Like, I felt like rank play wasn't you know, that difficult. And I've actually heard other commentators say the same thing where, you know, if you play rank play, it's a bit easier. And I think that's because of the amount of players. I think the 4v4 makes it slightly um, easier to control the maps, easier to control, you know, the spawns, you could say. And also a lot of game modes like, you know, capture the flag, um, uplink, they have, you know, respawn timers. So it, it, it takes a, a bit 
for people to spawn. If you have four people, you can do more callouts. It's more controlled. It's not, you know, the, the 6v6 is just so hectic. People are always behind you, you know. People are like, you know, sweaty ball tryhards, you know. And, and I like to be, a, I'm a sweaty ball tryhard. Like, I like to win games. But if, for some reason, this is the first Call of Duty. Um, and, you know, you guys have seen me put tons and tons and tons of Call of Duty up. Um, this is the first Call of Duty where my KD is lower than a 2.5. Like, the highest I've ever had my KD was a 315. Um, you know, last year for Ghost, I didn't like Ghost. I felt like I wasn't, you know, as good as I could have been in Ghost. But my KD was still a, a 2.7. This game, I really enjoyed. I'm pretty good at this game, and my KD is a 2.10. You know, that right there tells you that the game has changed completely. It's so much harder to maintain a KD. It's so much harder to, like, you know, navigate the maps. It's so much harder to build kill streaks because everybody's just trying so hard, and the matchmaking makes it difficult. Um, but anyway, but the, back to rank play. I hope that um, rank play starting Friday, the lobbies will get better. More people will play because they know that the season's going to start. Um, and I'm looking forward to get a few rewards, and hopefully I can bring you guys some uh, rank play uh, uh, videos. But here, um, I went ham. I went ham this game, and this is the final round. And I'm planning to bomb, get some quick uh, quick plants on. But I had a final score of 16-2, and two, and such and destroy. This is a pretty old game, but I'm bringing you guys some more gameplays. I got some new guns and stuff. I'll probably get, uh, bring you guys um, um, a character video where I show you guys my character, his guns. You know, my stats, you know, whatnot. But uh hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. My name is Yank D's. Final score was 16 and 2 and search and destroy. Till next time, I'm out. Peace. Now that's how it's done. RTB for